Hey you guys, I'm back. Today's video is on how to set up your printer for printing. I see a couple of questions in a couple of groups about how do you get your uh, print size to match your pr so your printout will come out the right size. And um, it's not hard. It's, it's just one little thing you guys are forgetting to turn on, but I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to do this in silhouette, and it works the same across all, uh, all the, the whatever you're using, because your print dialog box is going to come up, and you're going to need to make sure some of these things are uh, set up correctly in order for your print to print correctly. So if I go to my printer here right now, I think I think my page is set at 13 by 19, right? So. When I click print here in silhouette, if it ever opens, so it's probably freezing, it shows me this. And sometimes it may be half on the page, half off the page, whatever you got, or whatever your normal print settings are. So when your print dialog box pops up for you to print, you need, I'm using a ET8550. This is the same for any epson based printers and i'm gonna even go so far as saying my canon i have to do the, i have to do the same thing for my canon so um click preferences and you'll see it says paper source and it says document size those two boxes need to match um so if you don't have these if these two things aren't matching then you're going to it's not going to print properly so if your paper source it would not put i'm sorry not your paper source your paper source is telling it where it's going to print from so mine is going to print from the rear paper feeder and then um here it says eight and a half by 11 but i need to print 13 by 19 so let, let's do that let's print super b 13 by 19 but if you come to more options you this is this is the box that i was referring to so you got your document size as super b and then you have your output paper your output paper and your document size need to be the same thing because you can have your output paper at eight and a half by eleven and then it'll look like this on your main page so you're printing a super b page to an eight and a half by eleven paper so if those two things don't matter, it don't aren't the same thing. It's never going to print correctly if you when you're doing that. So, and it'll turn it sometimes to landscape. It'll it'll do all kind of crazy things. So you need to go to more options and you need to make sure that your document size, whatever that may be, needs to appear the same as the output paper. Let's say you're using a size you're you're making something extremely long and so like I use paper that's on a roll and I cut it down to 13 inches so my paper may be 13 by 44 well then you would need to go and you will need to hit user define a dialog box is supposed to pop up why mine is not popping up I have no idea and then you need to click user defined as well or whatever my user defined that if the dialog box popped up, which is not right now, it's okay, was 13 by 44, like I said. I need to make sure that my output paper is also 13 by 44, because if you put anything else, it's you're going to have niche match sizes, and you will see it on this side. It's not going to be right. So just make sure that everything matches it says or so we go back to the main you'll see 13 by 44 to a 13 by 44 those are just the minimum things that you need to make sure that match it's very simple you just have a match uh, 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 match match sizes usually the printers used to say hey your size doesn't match your size doesn't match what you're saying you're printing anyone print it but I guess they don't updated it so it turned that feature off because I know there have been plenty of time where I had 11 by 17 paper and I told it to print 13 by 19 and it was like hey 
this isn't 13 by 19. This is this is something else. You need to check this paper. It's a paper mismatch. And it, it'll do that. So if you're trying to print something larger and it's not, you don't have both of them set correctly, it'll automatically tell you no. Okay? So you just need to make sure. Um, see? Here go the dialog box. When you choose, make sure you select the correct document size setting. Other the as the printer may print beyond the edges of the paper, which can lead to ink smears. Exactly. So there it is. I thought it had. I thought it. I thought it didn't tell me that. But yeah. So yeah, it is usually has a pop-up box that say your settings don't match. Now I don't know why this came up so much later instead of exactly when I got ready to print, but it usually has something to let you know. Most of the time, once I create my um let's say you printing um oversized oversized print t-shirt I make a setting for that so all I have to do is come in and click oversized print t-shirt and I know that everything is gonna be exactly as I needed to print right you can also put same as document size that you I mean it usually pops itself up if if it's already selected you know, so super B thirteen by nineteen, it automatically usually say same as document size. Those things need to be in there. Okay, you need to make sure that it's set to either thirteen by nineteen to thirteen by nineteen, or it says thirteen by nineteen and the document size and output paper same as document size. So that way, it knows you're not trying to print something larger on a on a regular sheet of paper on a regular size paper just make sure those two things match all your and, and save it and save it as a, a um, setting for whatever your project is so all you have to do is click in your main window that project and you know that it is ready it is set up and it's ready to go and you don't have to check any preferences and you don't have to make any mistakes or waste any paper Okay, yeah, that was just a quick video. I want to show y'all that really quickly. Um, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, we're going to be uploading and posting more things. The more questions I see in groups, the more videos I'll do answering them. Okay, see you guys next time. Okay, guys, so. This is the second way, and I think this is where the error is coming in at. So, I, after playing with it a little bit, because this would be my second time recording this now. After playing with it a little bit, I found out what the problem is. So, if you're printing this way, this is why there's it, it's not coming out the way you want to. So, I tried both ways. I tried print double-clicking this and printing through... Your photos, this is, I think this is photos for your computer. And I also tried right clicking and then, mm, I opened the wrong thing. Um, Y'all excuse me. It, it keeps moving. So, And I want to click print. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna do it both these ways, but there's a problem with it. It's this right here that says full page photo. So even if I turn off fit picture to frame, it still says full page, and then there's no way to add additional options over here. So you don't it, it actually prints 12 by 18. Because my 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 jumbo Valentine Day cards are twelve by eighteen. However, it will not let it be twelve by eighteen. It keeps it still thirteen by nineteen. And even when I go to options, it will not even if I go to printer properties and change it and say I want it it's still gonna do the same thing and it doesn't allow you 
to take that out. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's try it another way. Let's print from the Photos app that comes. Even if I go through this dialog box or driver settings, I think this is a driver setting. It still does the same thing, and it's a lot more complicated because for some reason it turns it to landscape, and then it's automatically set to eight and a half by eleven. So I got to turn it to and see, and then I can turn this off. Let the app change my printing preferences. All it gives you is a margin. That's all, that's all it gives is a margin. It it doesn't. Where's A3 plus? Okay, here it is. It's still full page. See, and it only offers you these these uh, options. So we're still stuck. So I would say print from Photoshop, print from Silhouette, print from something that their driver print settings are available and not using the computer driver print settings because that's where the error is coming in. I find out, you know, I figured out where the error was coming in and why it keeps enlarging your prints. If you're printing one of those two ways and you're going through the printers, I mean the the computers print dialog box, it's, it's not allowing you to do that. You need to print from a place where their print settings their print drivers is in control, not the computers. Especially if you're working with a PC. I'm not I'm not sure for a Mac, but definitely for a PC, it's not letting me change this at all. And if y'all know a better way, let me know because I, I've sat here for 10 minutes now trying to figure out why I cannot turn off full page print. And that is what you're seeing here. A full 13 by 19 print and this is a 12 by 18. That that is what happened. That, that is exactly what happened. So, um, I hope I helped you guys um, and gave an answer. The answer would be just print through Silhouette, Photoshop, Affinity Designer, something that it has its own drop print drivers and you can change this and the sizing will be right. If you're printing through this, if you're printing through um, your regular print drivers, through your computer's print driver, what I would do would be design as a size 13 by 19 and then make sure, what I mean by design by 13 by 19, meaning when you set up your page in Canva or whatever you're designing in, Ooh. Set it up as a 13 by 19 or whatever size you're trying to print, but make sure that let me show y'all how to do this really quick. But Set your box up to 12 by 18. Center it and then work do what you need to do and then that way when it in when you print it you'll have your space and your stuff will land where you want it to land you'll have a bleed area and your design will land in the 12 by 18 where you needed it at. so and usually this is what I do so you guys can see this part too I turn off the color and then I turn on dotted lines so when I look at it it looks like this so I can still design full page, but I will stay within those margins and all my important stuff will stay within those margins to make sure nothing gets cut off. That, that's how you solve that problem. Okay. I haven't found another way. All right, guys.